We opened in 1982, so it's, we just had our 26th anniversary. Uh, you know, I came up to Ann Arbor from Chicago to go to school. I studied Russian history. Uh, I graduated, and I really didn't know what I was going to do, and I just didn't want to go home. And uh, one of my roommates was waiting tables in a restaurant that was about six blocks that way. And uh, it seemed like a good place to work, so I went in there to get a job. And the only job they had was washing dishes. And I took it, and that's how I started in the food business. Uh, but I had no particular interest in food or cooking or business or any of that. So my original background is really all back of the house. So and you really uh, started washing dishes? Yeah, and then cook, prep cooking and line cooking and managing kitchens. And uh, I left there after four years of working for them. And then a week after I gave notice, this building where the deli is was coming open. And uh, amazingly enough, we opened four months later, and it was just at that time, it was just where the bread is, was the wall to the outside. So we had uh, one, two, five tables in here, a little bit of cheese, some sandwiches, some bread, some smoked fish. And, I mean, we only had two employees when we started. We have probably 500 now. So our, our vision was to, and still is, to create this community of businesses uh, all located here in the area, uh, each with its own specialty, uh, each with a managing partner or partners in it. So these are people uh, like John at the Creamery uh, who have a passion for that work. Um, and we operate as one organization, but with these semi-autonomous pieces within it. And really, you know, what we do is driven mostly by what the prospective partner would like to do. So John had made cheese, you know, here in town with his brother. Uh, it didn't work out. It was, the cheese was actually very good. We used to sell a lot of it. For us, it's always the story behind the food as much as the food itself. And it's got to taste really great. But I think if you don't understand wh where the Conte cheese comes from, uh, and why it's made the way that it's made and how it's eaten in the Franche-Comté and how it's matured and why they do the maturing methods that they do. It's just a cheese. You know, it tastes good, but when you really understand the whole thing, the terroir and, and the history and the, you know, the religious components, it's, it's much more interesting and much more uh, relevant and meaningful. And how do you say an American cheese changed at that time? Oh, enormously. I mean, it's fantastic. There's so many good American cheeses, we can't sell them all. I mean, which, you know, was completely not the case 25 years ago at all. And 89, 90 or something, I was president of the American Cheese Society, and, or 91 maybe, and I was out in San Francisco at the conference, and I remember getting up to speak, and I brought a sliced American single with me to the podium. You know, and I just said the truth, which is most people in this country, when you say American cheese, this is what they think of. But, you know, in 15 or 20 years, it's going to be like American wines had become by then already, and that there'll be all these amazing American cheeses, and it's, it's what's happened. I mean, there's just, you know, there's all, all of it can be improved, what we, we make can be improved, and, you know, whatever, but there's dozens and dozens, hundreds, really, of fantastic handmade cheese that's it's great. You know, in terms of the food, I mean, we've just always been focused on traditional foods and on really full flavored foods. And we're really, that's what we do. I mean, we're not that interested in the trends. We're not that interested in what everybody else is doing. Uh, so it's always pushing back towards the older, uh, the older methods of making things and then also towards better flavor. And we've never assumed that anything can't be better. I mean, it, everything we do can be improved. And, you know, we're just pushing our envelope all the time to do that. And it's, a never-ending process and in terms of the staff I mean it's you know we, it's very important to us that this be a really great place for people to work and that they you know are learning and growing and changing in positive ways for themselves while they're here and you know that our job really honestly is to give them service so that they're able to give you when you come in as a customer give you service and uh, you know we're never perfect we screw everything up regularly but we just try to recover with a modicum of grace and keep learning and growing out of it and uh, hopefully everybody's having fun and, and you know making a living and learning and it's what keeps it going.